Hey, this is episode zero of making a logger, a very simple logger in C++. And I've decided to start counting from zero because in this episode, uh, we're not going to be writing any code. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk about what kind of logger we're going to make and what uh, functionality it's going to have and stuff like that. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit about uh, log priority levels, so why you even need different priorities and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna show you the program that we're gonna get by the end of episode one. So let's start. It was important for me to make this logger both simple and usable. So what do I mean by simple? Uh, well. There is gonna be very little code and the code that there will be is gonna be straightforward so there aren't gonna be any complex class uh, hierarchies or anything like that just one simple class but at the same time it's gonna be usable so it's gonna have priorities so lock priority levels so we're gonna be able to set priorities and then we're gonna be able to output uh, actual data output primitives such as integers you know float double uh, characters and also uh, strings and it's gonna be thread safe so it means that uh, we can use this logger in multi-threaded programs and it's gonna work properly and we're gonna make it in C++. So the episode structure is as follows. Episode 0 planning theory and demo. It's this episode. Then episode 1 is gonna be uh, we're gonna make the logger class and make basic cons uh, login to the console. And in episode 2 we're gonna make a file login and also we're gonna make timestamps and uh, I do not plan on episode 3 but maybe uh, there will be some things uh, that I will, will want to address and in that case uh, there's gonna be a, an episode 3 so there will be six priority uh, levels trace debug info Born, error, and fatal. So basically, they just um, reflect what kind of information a log has. For example, trace is for minor debug details, debug is for uh, debugging info, uh, info is for to record kind of major events in the, that are happening in the program. For example, uh, I don't know, uh, this library initialized uh, the window has been created or something like that maybe warn uh, will be for exceptions and it's also gonna help detect bugs error is for uh, fail uh, failure to perform any task that uh, has to be performed and fatal is for errors uh, that we simply cannot recover from. It's also sometimes called critical and basically we can use those priority levels to filter out logs that we don't need. Say for example if we're running a program for debugging uh, we want to set log priority to debug or trace so that logs will be recorded with debug information but in the release version of our program uh, we don't uh, need to log any debug information so we're gonna set priority level to info and trace and debug logs will not be recorded so here is a simple example of how we use uh, the logger that we're gonna build in episode one uh, here i've got a class with two fields name and age and constructor that construct with name and then we say set age and then we just print out a student object has been created with name this means that we're gonna provide a string and age this means that we're gonna provide int and if you're not familiar with uh, 
those kind of printf formatting uh, you should check out just printf function here so for example d is for signed decimal integer and here's for unsigned u for floats there is f for strings there is s for character there is c and so on if value is not in range from 18 to 120 then we uh, log a message with warn priority uh, which says invalid value of age was provided to set age otherwise we just set age and here i've got two objects creating so here we've got a student object has been created with name daniel and age 20 yeah here we in the second object we provide an invalid age 15 so invalid value of 15 was provided to set age and a student has been created with name mark and age 0 also in the first episode we're gonna ensure thread safety so here i've got 10 threads and i start each thread and each thread uh, runs log test function which just uh, logs a number which is gonna be i so here we create 10 threads an array of 10 threads and we start each thread here we just wait for each thread to finish and then we return so this is a program that has 10 threads and and each thread uses logger and here so threads some threads are faster but as you can see the messages are not broken up if it's not thread safe then uh, there could be, for example, info and then another info four and then three comes uh, after that. But this output means that our logger works properly in a multi-threaded program. So this all is gonna be done in episode one and in episode two, uh, there will be timestamps. So the log message is gonna have an exact time and date uh, when it was recorded and also file output so go ahead to episode one thanks for watching bye